took 71 minutes and 23 seconds of hockey on Wednesday night at the Mellon Arena. It took 42 shots on goal, and it took the last of those shots deflecting off a Capitals defenseman before it finally entered the net. But the good news is the Penguins finally got enough pucks past Capitals goaltender Simeon Varlamov to beat Varlamov and the Caps. Yeah, they were extended into overtime, but they'll take their 3-2 overtime victory and run with it. Varlamov remains one of the stories of the series. On Wednesday night, he was exceptional, but the Penguins also made him look good an agonizing number of times. In the third period alone, there were gorgeous chances for Pascal Dupuis, Bill Guerin, and Chris Kunitz. Only Dupuis managed to hit the net in those instances, and he had basically a wide open cage, but somehow managed to slide a puck into Varlamov into scoring a goal. Earlier in the game, Kunitz had a wide open chance on a power play and couldn't even get a shot on net. And defenseman Chris Letang was an adventure in misplays before finally becoming the OT hero. The point of all this is that while Varlamov is making a number of saves, the Penguins are blowing a number of chances. They got away with that on Wednesday night. Now comes game four on Friday and another opportunity not just to beat Varlamov but to light him up. If the Penguins can start scoring and keep scoring, they can finally put some doubt in this kid's head and some doubt in the Capitals team. And if that happens, the series will not only be tied, it will take on an entirely different dynamic. With the Penguins and the Capitals in the Eastern Conference semifinals at the Mellon Arena, I'm Mike Pursuta for Trib Total Media.